Okay, today I'm going to have a good fix in this, which is a evaporative air cooler. It's all digital controls. Um, I turn it on. Power is applied, but as you can see, dead. Nothing. So, let's see what we can do. It's a standard 3 pin UK plug. Uh, and you can see we all have fuses in them. So I'm going to check the fuse. Excuse the noise, but it's bloody hot in here. So there's our fuse. Fuse is okay. So it's not that. Looks like there's a load of screws behind the filter. Right there, down the sides, there. And behind this rather minging filter. Ew. Lovely. I'll uh, take this apart and see how we go. Doesn't actually seem to be much to this. This is kind of a a wick. The water wicks up it and then gets evaporated by the air blowing through. There's a blower in there. Can't really see it. But there it is. The tank down the bottom. Not much to it. And I've got the back off and that appears to be a pump. And you can see the blower motor there. And all the water's disappearing into a self-contained bit at the top. There's a couple of screws. Always be careful when you take apart mains equipment because capacitors can store dangerous charge for a while. Days even. Here's the circuit board. There's the wires going out to various bits around the thing and the motor. Um, that looks like a filter, a capacitor, bridge rectifier. Smoothing capacitor, a voltage regulator, possibly. So I'm going to get this board out and have a look. So there is a transformer here. Alright, here's the deal. Like most things, this has a small internal fuse there. It was blown, so I've put a new one in. Uh, it was a one amp, I've put a half amp in there for now. <coughs> um, and find out what's going on. So, we'll see, we'll see what happens when we power it up. Okay, what I've done, I've connected a 100 watt light bulb in series. I'm going to power it on very briefly. And if that light bulb lights up bright, then we've got a problem. Here we go. Yeah, looks like something's wrong. That's way too bright, that's full brightness. So something's gone short circuit inside. Let's have a look. I've connected my meter up to it on the input. On the ohms range, it's showing 108 ohms. That shouldn't be. 108 ohms are too low. This thing only work, draws 60 watts when it's running at full power, so that's too much. So what I'm going to do, up here, we've got various connectors. Now in theory, the only thing it should get power when it's off is this transformer, because this powers the logic circuit. But I think that something's gone horribly wrong in here. Blown one of these triacs, so they've gone short, and now whatever device has gone wrong is getting power constantly. So I'll start disconnecting them. So I'll start with the uh, transformer. Okay, it's gone up a little bit. That's not much though, that's not what the, where the problem is. Try the main motor, main fan motor. A bit 
bit awkward, I'm afraid. Nope, wasn't that. Next, the water pump. Nope. Next is the ionizer. Nope. See, I'm just disconnecting these. There's only one left, and that is for a little motor at the front which makes the air vents oscillate. So if I unplug that one, ah, here we go. Look at that. So that synchronous motor should be very, very low power, shouldn't draw hardly anything. But at that resistance is probably likely to be in the region of two to three amps, which is too much. So what I'll do is I'll leave it disconnected, plug everything else back in and power it up the dim bulb and see if it does it again. Okay, here we are again. Light bulb in series. I have got it connected for an isolation transformer. Um, don't really need that, but you should never touch the mains even if uh, you have got a transformer. You should be careful not to. You kill yourself, basically. And if you try anything in this video, don't blame me. Anyway, here we go. Power on. Bulb hasn't lit. That's good. Right, let's try hitting the power button. Bob's lit a little bit, gone dimmer. The fan is blowing. Not very fast because it's being restricted by the bulb. Try speed two. Yeah, that's working. Three. Yeah, that's good. Um, what else can I try? Ion. Yeah, that's okay. Um, water pump. There's no water in it, so it's not going to be very happy about that. But we're good. Let's dig that motor out. Oh, there's our little motor. The uh, stickers come off of it. Let's have a look. Of course, being in the UK, it's 220 to 240 volts. Let's take it out then. The way this works, it turns a little. Um, ah, where is it? It's very hard to show you, but there's a little thing that moves left and right, and it moves these left and right, which in turn moves these left and right. But let's take it out. Here's our little motor. Test it on its own. This is going to be hard. Okay. 35 ohms. Not even close to being right, so that motor's junk. The other thing I think that's gone is one of these triacs, these here. Um, and the one for the oscillator motor was this second one here. This one. So, let's get the testing. Got my meter. Right, first one. That's good. Second one. That's bad. It should be open circuit. So it's gone. So this little triac is definitely blown. I've removed it from the board. I'll just leave it out until either I get a new motor or I'll just leave it out because it's only for the oscillator. Not really that necessary. Let's find out what it is. Yes, it's an ST something 0607. Which I've done the research already and found is a 0.8 amp track, which is exactly what I expected it to be. So I'm going to put the fan back together as it is, and 
maybe I'll order a motor at some point, but I don't need that, so. Uh, I've temporarily bypassed the um, sensor, level sensor, so that um, I can test the water pump briefly. I'll just run it for a few seconds to make sure it does actually run. There's a little float inside there, I've just stuck a screwdriver in there to hold it up. There you go, one more test. Power on. We have fan. Ionizer works. Water pump. Yeah. I'm not going to run that for very long because it might damage the water pump, but if I put this on, that's the water pump. Obviously there's no water in it, so it's not good to run it like that. But everything's working, so let's try it without the bulb in the series. Without bulb in series, power on. There you go. Okay.